Hey everyone, it is Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you are well. I am absolutely wonderful, doing great. I'm not going to Ames today. Zach and Gills are on their way to cover Kansas State men at Iowa State on Wednesday night at Hilton Coliseum. Can the men fight off that Hilton magic? We will see coverage at Go Pyrocat, and I'll have a post game talk right here on this YouTube channel. Speaking of this channel, make sure you're subscribing to it. Hit the thumbs up, leave those comments. All of that helps out the algorithm, helps us reach more people. We really appreciate your support. On with the DD, and I'm going to talk about Kansas State women's basketball, and most notably, point guard Serena Sundell. Now, the women are up to fourth in the AP Top 25, and that's typically what we use uh, for rankings. And uh, they're second in the coaches poll. And that means there's a lot of respect for how good this Kansas State women's basketball team is playing. And now they're two games into their life without Aoka Lee after her injury that'll keep her out up to four weeks. She'll be back later this season. That's the plan at least. And so they have to win without her. They did it first at home against Kansas. And then Monday night, they went to Baylor and played the 13th ranked Bears without their star center. On the road, playing a top 15 team without your star, and they won. And a big reason was Sundell. She has scored 15 and 16 points in the games that Lee has been out, and she averages 11 a season, this season, 11 per game this season. So she has picked up her pace, about five assists a game, only takes about, on average, about two three-pointers a game, uh, and hits 38%, which is acceptable. So she's pretty cautious with that. And here's what I like about her game. She understands who she is, what she does, what she can't do that well, and plays to those strengths and tries to avoid the weaknesses. She's an incredible creator and facilitator for her teammates. She's a big reason why they've won two games. And they're a big reason why they will continue to win. She's a special player on a special team. And she's only a junior, so she'll be back. She's got more, uh, more in her future. And it's really intriguing to me to watch this team develop and try to find a new identity on the fly without their star post player, because now they can't just throw it into the post and expect something good to happen, even though her backups, Lee's backups, were really good in those two games. It's been kind of fun to watch how they reinvent themselves. Mad shout out to coach Jeff Mitty, who's done a great job creating on the fly, giving his team opportunities with play calls off the bench that put them in a position to win at Baylor and close a nine point halftime deficit to win that game. It's, it's really incredible. Kansas State has a legitimate Final Four team in women's basketball. And so far, so far, the absence of Lee hasn't stopped the winning. And that just goes to show you how good they will be when she comes back. And Sundell and the rest of these players have confidence that they can do it with or without her, and Lee is rested. Serena Sundell is a really good player. Just watch what she does with and without the ball when you're watching the next game. A lot of them are on ESPN+. Plus, But check out her just persistence, the way she goes about her business. A special player, a special team, a great coach, and they're not even playing with their most special athlete of all. We'll see what happens, but this team, yeah, this team could go a long ways.